Hi also, we're now going to make a start and a big hello and welcome to the children of Thomas Buxton School. So thank you so much for joining us today uh, to introduce myself. My name is Derek and over on that side is my colleague Lara. If you give a wave, Lara. And we work for Inspiring the Future, so we will be hosting uh, the session today. Um, so you won't be able to tell, but there are some of your classmates that are tuning in um, from school and are watching alongside with you. So that means it's just like a normal assembly um, that you would have in school, uh, but you guys are tuning in from different locations. So today's assembly is all about jobs. So there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of jobs that you can choose from when you're older. So some of you might be able to name some jobs. Uh, some of you might even know what job you want to do already. Um, so Lara, when you were in primary school, do you know what job you wanted to do? Yeah, so I used to go to ballet classes, so I really wanted to be a ballerina, which hasn't panned out. Um, but yeah, that was what excited me when I was younger. That's great. So what we're going to do today is learn about jobs through a fun and exciting game. Uh, so we're very lucky to be joined by three volunteers um, with some very exciting jobs. Uh, so volunteers, if you could give us a wave, that would be great. Hello, hello. So you'll be hearing from them uh, in a moment. Uh, so before we get started with the game, um, I'm going to set you a challenge. So you'll see on the screen, um, there are a couple of letters and I wanted you to think of different jobs uh, for the different letters of the alphabet. So Lara and I would be so impressed to hear some of your suggestions. So I would like to know a job that begins with the letter B. And I'd like you to tell us your answer. So to do that, if you go on the right hand of your screen, uh, you should see a question mark. So if you click on that question mark, it will let you type something into us uh, so that we'll be able to see. So I want you guys to try that now. So click the question box. And if you could offer up some jobs beginning with the letter B. So I'll give you a couple of moments to do that. So jobs beginning with the letter B. We'll give that a moment. I'm sure you guys are thinking really hard right now. Okay, so we have Baker as our first suggestion. So thank you, Emma, for that. We have bus driver, fantastic. Oh, this, the, the guesses are coming in thick and fast. So we've got barista from Sergio. Thank you, Sergio. We have banker, we've got bricklayer, we've got builder, we've got butcher, we've got basketball coach. They're just flooding and so great suggestions, guys. That's fantastic. So you guys are all familiar with using the questions box. And this is the box that you will use to send in your questions to us. Um, so we're going to make a start in a moment. Uh, so great to see that you guys are familiar with the questions box. So Laura, should we make a start? Yes, of all that Let's do it. Perfect. So I'm just going to give an overview of how the game works. So um, students yeah, at Thomas Buxton School, your challenge is to try and guess the jobs of the volunteers. So you're tasked with sending in questions to try and guess the jobs of the volunteers. So these have to be yes or no questions. So Laura, can you explain what a yes or no question is? Yeah, sure. Um, I think there's a bit of background noise going on. Would you mind muting yourselves? Thank you. Um, so a yes or no question is a question that you can ask and there's only a yes or a no answer. So it might be something like, do you travel with your job or do you use maths in your job or do you help people in your job? So try and think of what kind of questions you can ask that will be used as a good clue to working out what their jobs are. Fantastic. Thank you, Laura. So we're going to make a start now. Um, so Shalina, George and Adrian uh, will be answering yes or no to the questions that you send through. So we're going to show you an example um, of some questions on the screen now so that you have an idea of the sorts of questions uh, you should be asking. So guys, now is the time to send them through. Now is the time to send them through. And then each volunteer will answer yes or no. So I'm going to start off with the first question. And the first question is, do you help people with your job? So Adrian? Yes. Thank you. Shalina? Yes. Okay. And Georgia? Yes. 
Okay, students, all three volunteers help people with their jobs. So that is a great clue. The second question is, do you wear a uniform? So Adrian? Yes. Okay, thank you. Shalina? No. Okay, no for Shalina. And Georgia? Yes. Okay. So Shalina doesn't wear a uniform for her job, but the other two do. So any other questions, guys? Any other questions? Okay, so the next question is, do you public speak for your job? So Adrian? Sometimes. Okay, Adrian is sometimes. Uh, and Shalina? Yes. Yes, okay, a strong yes from Shalina. And Georgia? Not really. Not really, okay, cool. So I'm gonna say no for Georgia. And the next question we have, and that is from Emma, uh, do you work in an office? So, Adrian? No. No, okay. Shalina? No. Okay, no for Shalina. And Georgia? No. Okay. And uh, the next question we have is, do you have to use tools in your job? So, Adrian? No. Okay. And Shalina? Yes. Yes. And Georgia? Yes. Okay. The next question, and that's from Sergio. Hi, Sergio. Are you on TV? Okay, any famous people here? So, Adrian. Not currently. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not currently, but he could be. That's a good clue. Uh, Shalina. No, but can be found online. Okay. And Georgia. No. <laughs> okay. Next question we have, and that is from the year one bubble. Uh, do you work in a hospital? Okay, so this should reveal a lot. So, Adrian. No. Okay. Shalina. No. Okay. And Georgia. I do. Okay, so Georgia does work in the hospital. That is a massive clue. So we can narrow that a bit down for Georgia then. Uh, so the next question we have, and that's from the Sparks group. Hello, the Sparks group. Do you work for children? Okay, do you work for children? Um, and Adrian? Yes. Okay, that's a massive clue. Shalina? Sometimes, we're here today. Okay, and Georgia? Very occasionally. Okay, very occasionally. Okay. So the next question is, are you a carer of some kind? Adrian? No. Okay. And Shalina? No. Okay. And Georgia? I'm going to say yes. Okay. No, can you hear me? Yeah, can hear you. Can you hear Perfect. me? Perfect. Yeah, can hear you. All right. And the next okay, question. Yeah, okay. Cool. And the next question is Does your work involve sports? So, does your work involve sports? Adrian. Yes. Okay. And Shalina? No. Okay. And Georgia? No. Okay. Uh, the next question we have is, do you coach in any way? So, Adrian? I do. Okay, so that is a big clue. Uh, Shalina? Yes. Okay. And Georgia? No. No. Okay. These are some great questions coming through, guys. So keep sending them through. We're going to take a couple more before we move on. So the next question we have is 
does your job involve science? Adrian? No. Okay. Shalina? Sometimes. Okay. And Georgia? Yes, definitely. She said yes, definitely. And she works in a hospital. Okay, cool. So your, your your brain should be working right now as to what she might do and the others. So we've actually got a couple of guesses already. So I'm not going to read out the guesses uh, for the volunteers just yet. We're going to hold on and take a few more questions. Uh, so the next question we have is, do you need to be creative? And that is from Emma. Thank you, Emma. So Adrian, do you need to be creative? Yes. Okay, and Shalina? Yes, very much so. Yes, very much so, okay, strong yes. And Georgia? I do sometimes, yeah. Okay, and the next question we have is, do you need a university degree to do your job? Adrian? No. Okay, Shalina? No. Okay, and Georgia? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question we have is, uh, duh, 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 duh. do you work as part of a team? So I'm going to put that to Adrian. Sometimes. Okay, sometimes. And Shalina? Sometimes. Okay. And Georgia? Yep. Okay. So we're going to take two more questions uh, before we move on. And the next question we have is, uh, do you publish any work of any kind? So Adrian? Do you publish any work? Uh... Sometimes, yeah. Okay. And Shalina? Yes. Okay. And Georgia? Yes. Okay. So we're going to take one more question uh, before we move on to getting some guesses from you guys. And the final question is, do you drive in your job? Adrian? No. Okay. Shalina? No. Okay. And Georgia? No. Okay. So we're going to hold the questions there. Some really great questions and hopefully that should be enough to go on to try and guess the jobs of the volunteers. So first and foremost, we're going to focus on getting some guesses for Adrian. So Lara, could you recap on the questions and answers for Adrian before we get some guesses. Yeah, sure. So Adrian helps people. He wears a uniform. He sometimes does public speaking. Um, he could be on TV, he said. Um, he works with children. He works with sports. He coaches in some way. He has to be creative in his job. He sometimes works as part of a team and he sometimes publishes things. Okay. So some great revealing answers there. So students, this is your opportunity to send in your guesses. So please type and share your guesses with us. What job do you think Adrian does? And the first guest that came through like mid mid, mid uh, question asking was a uh, PE coach. So um, the Sparks group thing that Adrian is a PE coach. Um, any more guesses from any of the other groups or students at home? So we've got PE coach as the first one. Okay, we have sports coach. Any other guesses? Okay, a lot of people are saying sports coach. They're quite set on that. Okay, gonna allow a couple more moments to see if any other guesses come through. Okay, a PE subject leader, a youth worker. Okay, one more guess, any other guess? A motivational speaker. Okay, so some great guesses, guys. So, Adrian, could you reveal what it is you actually do? 
So I am a sports coach and motivational speaker in primary schools, secondary schools, and colleges. Okay, fantastic. So you guys were along the right lines. Um, so Adrian will have a couple of moments to kind of speak about what he does in his job. So Adrian, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing a bit about what you do. Okay, so um, I've got my own sports coaching company um, that I set up by myself around 10 years ago. So I go into private schools like where you are now um, and deliver sporting sessions, whether it's lunchtime activities, whether it's um, PE sessions, after school clubs, and also I'm a qualified mentor. And um, so I help kids with their behavior, their mindset, and I do motivational speaking, inspiring kids about working hard, staying focused, staying on track, uh, mental health, well-being. Um, that's what I'm doing in schools right now. Fantastic. Thank you, Adrian. And he can be found on YouTube. I have seen one or two of his videos and he is a great motivational speaker. So if you ever need a bit of motivation and advice, check him out on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. So we're going to move on to our next volunteer. We're going to be taking um, general questions towards the end, but we're going to do the reveals now. Um, so Shalina, so Lara, if you could recap on the questions and answers for Shalina, that would be great. Yeah, sure. OK, so Shalina says she helps people. She doesn't wear a uniform. She does some public speaking. Um, she does use some tools in her job. Um, she might appear online. She sometimes works with children. Um, she does some kind of coaching. She sometimes uses science in her job. She says she's really creative. Um, she sometimes works as part of a team and she does publish. OK. Okay, so children, this is your chance to send in your guesses. What job do you think Shalina does? So I'll give that a couple more moments to get some guesses come through. Okay, the first guess we have is designer. Okay, thank you. Any guesses for Shalina? Any other guesses? Okay, we have therapist. Okay, we've got art therapist, again, um, a story writer, thank you. Another art therapist, we have author, fantastic, we'll take a couple more. Okay, we have author again, which is fantastic, okay, great. Any other guesses before we reveal? Okay, and we have artist and author. Okay, cool. So very similar guesses. Uh, so, Shalina, if you could reveal what it is you actually do. Um, certainly. So I'm, I'm a project manager, which may be a term people aren't used to, but I basically get things done. Um, and as part of that, I have a passport, which I use a lot because I work internationally. And I have flip chart pens because I need those all the time when I'm teaching. Um, I also coach people for, for their well, well-being, either in themselves emotionally or, or in their heads because they get stressed and they have too much to do. But primarily, uh, or, or the most important thing I do is, is bring groups of people together to, to learn how to do things together as a team and to work as a team, sort out their problems, that kind of thing. And, and I do teach and I also publish articles and, and items on the web. That's great. Thank you, Shalina. So we're going to move on to our third volunteer before we take in some questions from you guys, because I'm sure you're you're eager to ask us our questions relating to their jobs. And that is um, going to be done in a second. So, Lara, if you could recap on the questions and answers for Georgia, please. Yeah, sure. OK, so we know I feel like we know quite a lot about Georgia. So we know that she helps people. She wears a uniform. She uses some sort of special tools or equipment for her job. She does work in a hospital. She is a carer of some sort. Um, she definitely uses science in her job. She's sometimes quite creative. Um, she did need a degree to get to where she, at, where she is. She works in a team and she publishes in some way as well. Okay. So children, this is your opportunity to send in your guesses for Georgia. So some really revealing answers there. Mm 
Okay, the first guest we have is a nurse. Thank you. Okay, we've got doctor. Sparks group says nurse. Yeah, lots of nurses. Yep. Any other guesses? I think the hospital was a massive clue. Okay, nurse again. Give it another moment. A lab technician, thank you. And nurse again, okay. So some great guesses, guys. An ambulance driver, scientist. Oh, they're all flooding in now. <laughs> okay, perfect. Cool, we're gonna stop it there. And we're gonna ask Georgia to reveal what it is she actually does. So I am a doctor. I'm a junior doctor. I've not long finished university, so my first year as a doctor, and I work at Peterborough Hospital. Um, I do use some tools and things for my job, so I have some of them here. So I have a stethoscope. Some of you might have had played with these before to listen to people's hearts and chests. I carry all sorts of other things with me. I have pen torches to look in people's eyes, uh, some tape as well, um, my lanyard with my badge on, and my uniform is I wear scrubs. So I work in the A&E department, which is the bit that you go to if you, you hurt yourself, you've had an accident. Um, and so I wear scrubs in there and I see lots of different people and I work in a big team. And so that's what I do. So well done to those that guessed it correctly. Fantastic. Thank you, Georgia. So children, you now know all the jobs of the volunteers. We're going to dedicate the next 10 minutes or so uh, to asking them some questions. So do you have any questions for Adrian, Shalina or Georgia? And it could be anything about the job they do. Is the job exciting? What's the most exciting thing that's happened in their job? What's the most challenging part of their job? This is your opportunity to send them through. And I'll put it to them. So the first question we have, and that is for Shalina. So Shalina, what kinds of subjects do you use in your job? So examples would be English, that kind of thing. Yeah, so many. Um, because I work across the world, languages are really important. Um, maths and English are critical. Um, clean handwriting for when I'm teaching and working with a board. And as you can see, communication, um, whether we're doing it on a screen or in person is all really important. It helps if you know a little bit about geography and history. It's quite nice when you visit other countries to be able to it, and understand what they're talking about or a little bit about them. Fantastic, thank you, Shalina. Pleasure. The next question we have is, do you enjoy your job? And I'm going to put that to Adrian. Um, yes, I mean, um, I've always wanted to be in sports and be in motivation, the two things that have helped me along the way in my life, which is sports and motivation. So that's why I carry on doing what I'm doing now. I like to help the youth and even adults as well in both sectors. So yeah, I really enjoy what I do. Fantastic. Thank you, Adrian. And the next question we have, and that is uh, for Shalina again. How did you get into your job? Uh, it, that's a very long story and we don't have much time. Um, part of it, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry. Part of it is is being good at being organised, communicating, paying attention to information and detail, and then being asked to take on responsibility. So sometimes, a, a bit like in school, you get chosen to be the leader of a team, um, and, and project management's very much like that. You, you get chances to lead, and then people see how you talk to each other, how you work together, and then you get more opportunities and more chances to, to lead bigger teams and do more complicated things. And I love it. Fantastic, thank you. And Pleasure. the next question we have, and that is for Georgia, how long does it take to become a doctor? A little while. So you have to do your A-levels at school first and then you go to medical school. So that took me five years um, to complete. And then once you've done that, you can start work. OK, thank you. And uh, the next question is for Adrian. So what inspired you to be a motivational speaker? Um, when I was younger, there was I found it hard growing up. So I was brought up in Hackney at the time. It was quite a bad place to be living um 
but then I started listening to motivational speaking and it just helped me sort of stay on track and make sure I was focused and surrounded myself with the right people and it kept me positive so it helped me and that's why I like to go and inspire other people now as well. Fantastic okay thank you and the next question we have um, and that is for Georgia um, have you always wanted to be a doctor? Um, probably since about halfway through secondary school. No, no one in my family is a doctor, so it didn't really come from that. I, I think I always wanted to be a vet or a doctor, and in the end, doctor won. Okay. And Georgia, whilst I have you, the next question we have for you is, is your job challenging? Yes, it is challenging at times. I really enjoy it, and I, I love my job, and I wouldn't do anything else, but it certainly has challenging moments, especially at the moment. Okay, thank you. And the next question we have, um, I'm going to put this to all the volunteers actually. What is the best part of your job? And we're going to start with Adrian. Um, I'll say making a difference um, and seeing groups or individuals actually, you know, progress um, and to see the progression of individuals, whether it's in sport, whether it's their behavior and mentoring whether it's someone who didn't believe in themselves or given that inspiration. So seeing people just grow, whether it's mentally, physically, it's, um, it's really good for me to see. I like that. That's great. Thank you. And Shalina? Well, I agree with Adrian that that's the primary thing. And, and to choose something different, it's lovely to learn from each other so you share knowledge and, and do things with people and then they teach you things too maybe it's about their culture their workplace it can be all kinds of things but we learn together and that's great fun great thank you Shalina and Georgia I think it's probably when someone gets better when someone comes in really poorly and you work together and then they get better and they get to go home there's not really much better than that okay thank you so any other questions so we have um some minutes uh, to take more questions so please do send them through do keep them coming okay next question are there any parts of your job that you don't like so we're going to put that to shalina <laughs> Yeah, there are actually. There, there's always some. Um, one is packing suitcases and doing the washing afterwards when you travel. Uh, standing in line at airports, that's that's pretty horrible. Um, but but the good things outweigh that. So so those are probably the most unpleasant bits of my work. Okay, thank you. Uh, and Adrian, um, I wouldn't say I don't like it, but when you when you're speaking. Um, or doing sports coaching, you get really hungry after. <laughs> so um, yeah, especially when you're speaking, because sometimes I, I do back-to-back -back speeches and I, I just get so hungry, but I don't dislike it, but I said to make sure I have my carbs. <laughs> That's it, thank you. And Georgia? It's probably the exams. I have to do a lot of exams and no one likes exams. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic, thank you. And the next question we have is, uh, what job would you want to do if you didn't do this one? Uh, so, Georgia. I think it would probably be a vet, like I said before. Okay. And Shalina? I don't think I'd change a thing. I, I do so many different things and I love all of them. So, no, I'm staying where I am. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and Adrian? Um, I'm the same as Shalina, this is, this is my sector, um, the youth education, been it for over 10 years now, uh, this, this, is, this is me, this is my, this is my self, this is my zone. Yeah. You know? Fantastic. And the next question we have is, did you like your job at the start? So, uh, Georgia, did you like your job at the start? Yes, I was really excited to finish university and start. I, I really like it. I, I wouldn't, yeah, love it. Okay. And Shalina? 
Um, I think at the start I was very scared. Suddenly having responsibility and being told to take care of a team and get things done was quite scary. Um, so whilst it was exciting, as Georgia said, I, I think I was also very scared. And, and that was a good thing because it meant I paid a lot of attention and, and was very careful about how I dealt with things. Great. And Long time ago. Um, it was, I'll say, it was scary in the beginning because I had to teach, say, 30 kids in a P lesson or my first talk was in front of about 250 people. So that was quite sort of nerve wracking. But um, other than that, wouldn't change it now. I mean, it's fine. Other than that, overcoming your fear is all right. That's it. And the next question we have is, what other jobs did you have before you got into this one? Uh, so, Georgia, any other jobs you had before becoming a doctor? I had kind of summer jobs at school, working in a GP surgery and things, but I went straight from school to university, so I didn't have anything other than summer jobs before this. Okay. And Shalina? Um, I did all sorts of things as I was studying and, and learning. So I've done bar work, I've done waitressing, I've delivered newspapers, um, and, and of course doing public speaking and, and writing and all of that kind of thing. So and, and even done some secretarial work and things like that. So so I've done a range of different things which all helped me learn. That's great. And that's a really important point you make, Shalina, because a career journey is a journey. And so you'll have some odd jobs that you'll do before you get into, you know, your main job when you're older. But along the way, you pick up so many skills and experiences that help you become the person you are. So that is a great point to make. Um, and Adrian. I had one other job when I was a teenager and I, I was uh, stacking shells in, in Tesco. Fantastic. And, Thank you. Right. Any other questions, students? We've got um two more minutes uh, before we have to wrap up. Any other questions? Okay. So the next question we have is, what did you want to do when you were seven years old? Okay. So we're gonna have to think back to to the good old days. So what did you want to do when you were seven years old? We'll start off with Georgia. Georgia, you mentioned that you wanted to become a doctor mid secondary school. So yeah. what? About I had a chemistry set when I was really small. I, I liked science. I think I wanted to be a scientist. I think that was kind of the, the main area. So we've kind of stuck with that, really. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And uh, Adrian? Um, I just wanted to play and have fun, like, play sports. <laughs> I didn't really have a job in my mind. I just wanted to run outside and play with my friends and just be a kid. I didn't have anything. As a set job, I don't think at that age, there's something to have fun. That's fantastic. I'm the same as well, actually. So I, I find it really hard to answer that question because uh, I wasn't thinking about jobs, just thinking about, yeah, like you said, Adrian, just, just having fun, really. Right. <laughs> and, you know. Um, I had two jobs, actually, that I wanted to do when I was little. One was um, to be a train driver because I thought that would be incredibly good fun. Um, I knew nothing about it at seven. And the other thing was to be a writer, which which I still do. Okay, great. So we're going to take one last question before we wrap up. And this is a nice question to finish on. And that is from the Sparks group. What is one piece of advice you would give to the children? One piece of advice you would give. So we're going to start off with the motivational speaker, Adrian. Oh, I think it's frozen. Or is it just me? No, it's frozen. Okay. Whilst Adrian unfreezes, <laughs> we're going to um, ask Shalina. Gosh, it's such a big question. Really clever question. So thank you. Um, I think for me, it would be be yourself and don't be afraid to ask for help. S strong people ask for help. So, so it's two parts, but those would be my if it was one thing I'd have to put squish two things together be yourself and be strong ask for help amazing thank you and Georgia um probably two first things really is one is don't worry if you don't know what you want to do until you're a bit older there's absolutely no rush whatsoever and the second thing is whatever you do decide to do just make sure it's something you enjoy I think that's all that matters 
That's fantastic. Thank you, Georgia. Some great pieces of advice to finish on. I think, I don't know what happened to Adrian. I think his internet might have cut off, but um, as well, good that we got to the end anyway. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> thank you, children, for tuning into this session. And thank you for aunt asking all those questions. There were some really great questions. And thank you, volunteers, for giving up your time to, to share your career story and uh, let us get some insight into what it is that you do. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Fantastic. fantastic. Um, so this brings us to the end. Everyone have a fantastic day. And uh, yes, hopefully see you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.